Curtis Rugby of the South. This is my first time running a part on the Centroid conversion on this old Moss CNC1 tape machine. Uh, so it was an old tape machine. I converted it with this Centroid Acorn. And this is the first, like I said, this is the first time running it. Um, I don't quite have everything figured out yet, so I'm sure you guys are going to like totally nail me in the comments on what I've done wrong so far, but I just couldn't wait. As soon as I could get the spindle turning and the axis is moving, I had to run something. Um, right off the bat, I can tell that my spindle speed is not correct. Um, it was programmed at I think it was programmed at 1,000 RPM. Well, I'm running at 2,292 RPM, and I think I'm just barely turning at 1,000. I'll have to get a tachometer and, and check my spindle. That's something that's going to have to be adjusted, because this doesn't work anymore, so I'll have to manually adjust this to sync up with my variable frequency drive. So I'm aware of that. I get that. The other thing is, I don't know if you can hear that, but I'm just cutting aluminum and it seems like my bearings aren't in the greatest shape. Um, when I bought this machine, I didn't know what kind of shape it was in other than just visually looking at it. It was not powered up, I couldn't hear the front, I couldn't hear the machine anything. So, I don't know, I'm just used to a regular manual bridge board. They don't sound as bad. I've never messed with a bridge board with a Power Z. I think it should sound better than this. What do you guys think? Just let me know in the comments. Is this normal? Or is it something to do with this uh, 30 taper Ericsson quick change chuck? That's a whole other source subject is this 30 taper Ericsson chuck. I can't find tool holders anywhere. Can I run just like a standard 30 taper in this? I don't think so. It looks different. I mean, obviously it doesn't have the draw bar, but I don't think that quick change even uses the draw bar. But then this area is also different. So, I don't know if anybody's ran a regular 30 taper like this in something like this with the Ericsson quick change. Let me know. Or if there's a conversion, I'd love to hear about it. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to share with you guys where I'm at so far with my project. Um, I programmed this in Fusion 360, and I'm just kind of getting my feet wet, so uh, anything you can send my way is appreciated, good and bad. I like to hear it all. Thanks, guys.